Sean Walker. I'm the student pastor here at East Bayou Baptist Church in Lafayette, Louisiana. I want to say hi to you guys at the church at Rimmel. Uh, Dwayne, uh, our former volunteer here, the man Dwayne Smith, asked us to give you some instructions on how to play the game we call Dork Ball. This used to be a pool table. It's no longer a pool table. It is now a Dork Ball table. Um, I've got some of my students here. Trevor, you can pan to the left. This is Braden, Colby, and then Evan. <laughs> um, they are in ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 10th grade. Tenth grade. Um, so here is how this game works. This game is kind of like horse, uh, where you don't want to get letters. Um, it's kind of like hot potato, where when it's your turn, you got to be quick to think. Um, and it's kind of like carpet ball. I don't know if you've ever played carpet ball, but it requires accuracy. Okay, so the table is divided into two different areas. And um, the way the game starts is someone is going to be down that side, and they're going to throw the cue ball at any colored ball. Okay, You can use pretty much any color that you prefer. Usually, whenever somebody wins, they get to choose what color. They play. Uh, we don't play with any of the stripes, though. So because I'm a University of Tennessee fan, sorry for any Arkansas fans. Um, but Tennessee Orange is what I like to play with. And so the premise of the game is when it's your turn, you are required to keep this ball moving by hitting it with this one. But the catch is this, okay? You cannot ever throw from these long sides, okay? You can only throw from these short sides. So this is throwing from a long side. This is throwing from a short side. And the other catch is... Whatever side the colored ball is on, you have to be on the opposite side. So it doesn't matter at what speed or velocity you make contact with, but as long as this ball is moving and it's over there and you make contact, it's now the next person's turn. So come on, step on up, gentlemen. We're going to start a round. The way you start a game is everyone puts their hands on the table, okay? And whatever order you set, this is how the game begins. So the game... We'll start with Brayden, he will serve, and then no matter where Evan is in the room, he is now the next person to go. No matter where Colby is in the room, he is now the next person to go. Then it's me, then it's Brayden again. So the room gets really crazy, and you're going to run around, but this is how the order is set. So once the order is set, everybody steps away except for the person who is about to serve. So the way serving works is Brayden has three chances to make this ball touch at least two walls, okay? So if he throws three times and he misses all three times or he doesn't make this hit two walls, he gets a letter. And the letters are D-O-R-K for dork ball. And once he gets four letters, he is out of the game and we now skip him and it goes from me to Evan, okay? So once he throws, he has three chances to make this hit two balls, the game begins, okay? So go ahead and, and hit it. Now it's Evan's turn, and wherever this ball is, he has to be on the opposite side. So it's Colby's. Now I'll explain that in just a second what he did. It was Colby's turn, so he has to run around and grab the ball, okay? If you cannot, you don't have time to run from here all the way over there and this ball is still moving, you have the option of throwing it off the back wall and then making it hit this one. It's really hard to do and it's really risky, but sometimes it pays off because you know this ball is about to stop. When this ball is in the middle, you can throw from either side. You can't throw from a long side, but you can throw from either side, okay? So um, let's let Braden serve again and then we'll start another round just so you guys can see how it works. Now here's the deal. When you're serving, that's the only time you're limited to three throws. Other than that, like Colby's going to go next. If he misses the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, it doesn't matter. He's got as much time as he needs to make contact as long as this ball is still moving. If Braden puts this ball, he hits it, and it goes into a pocket, who's ever after him gets a letter. Okay? If it slowly was going into the pocket after Braden hit it, and Colby came up and he threw it at it, but Colby missed, and he was throwing. Colby gets a letter, but it is no longer his serve. He doesn't start the game back up again because he missed, and he, he tried to throw, but he didn't make it. Evan would then serve after that. So we're going to play a few rounds so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is the order. Colby is going to go next. So Braden, whenever you are ready. If the ball ever leaves the table, if either ball ever leaves the table, you get a letter, and you lose your turn. If... You hit both balls in. See that one? If both balls, if you hit this one, that one goes in one pocket, this goes in another pocket, you subtract a letter from your score. If you don't have any letters, you can't subtract anything. You don't get a negative amount of letters. So, 
Here's how the game works. Check this out. All right, ready? Brayden's up. Put your hands in the Oh, here's the order. Order is locked. Ready? It only hit one wall, so he's going to serve his second time of three. Notice how this ball only hit one wall, so this is his third try. If he misses this, he's going to get a lane. Okay, one wall, two walls. Here we go. So whatever side it is on, you have to be the opposite. Is that me? Evan. Evan. Good shot. Now this is really good. So the ball stopped when it was his turn, so he gets a letter. Now he didn't throw, so he now serves. Trevor, what's the time on the video? 5.55. 5.55. Dwayne, if you have any questions, just let me know. Gentlemen, y'all rep Christ well there at Church at Rimmel. Um, we're holding it down tight here in South Louisiana. See you later.